By a show of hands, how many of you guys like french fries? Okay, well me personally, I would say I like french oh, fries. We know you love them french fries. I wasn't talking to you. But you know, liking french fries is fine and all, but I just believe you shouldn't eat them all the time. Uh, a well-balanced diet is definitely in the long run the best way to go throughout your life, but in some cases you have people who, you know, once they're exposed to something that just clicks with them, oh, they can't let go. That's it. Today we have Amber, a young lady who was on the show Freaky Eaters, which consists of, you know, people from all across the globe who have these really freakish addictions towards specific foods. Now, I remember doing a video like this a few years back, and it was about a guy who just loved cheeseburgers. A lot of cheeseburgers. <laughs> So to have someone have an addiction towards french fries should be very interesting. You know, there are some people who are addicted to drugs, you know, heroin, um, a perk 30, anything that hits, hits for them. But in this case, it's french fries. So I just figured we'd check this out today and just really see how serious these food addictions can become. Because I love a good Happy Meal, but I know if I eat it every day and my arteries clog, oh, we're in for a different story. If you guys are new to this channel whatsoever, please feel free to subscribe and drop a like on this video if you end up enjoying it. Because I know you will. 29 year old Amber Scott only eats french fries. Devouring over 56 kilos of deep fried french fries each and every month. Absolutely not. The amount of grease and just oil and, and fry to consume that in a month is, it sounds almost deadly coming out the mouth. That's a lot. You know, when I was little, going to McDonald's here and there was, you know, a form of a treat. I thoroughly enjoyed it. We know. Because I wasn't going to eat no cold vegetables they attempted to throw at me. I wanted a cheeseburger and french fries. But, you know, being an adult and having that luxury to get whatever you want when you want it can, in turn, be a bad thing because you have stuff like this where nothing but french fries can suffice. Yearly, that's the equivalent of 6,000 potatoes, 115 potatoes every single week. Amber eats french fries, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But Amber cannot just eat any french fries. Smell, color, and texture are also important. That's where I feel it becomes a problem too because some people are very texture driven when it comes to specific foods. If their food isn't prepared a certain way, they not eating it. If it don't smell a certain way, they not eating it. Hell, if it don't look a certain way, they not eating it. They just not eating it at all. And I've definitely met a few people in my lifetime to where once they become accustomed to something specific like a food that they like, you're not gonna see them eat anything else. I remember I used to get tutored at Sylvan. If you guys don't know what Sylvan is, it's almost like a learning center where staff of adults were able to help young children learn and progress in school. And there was this one girl named Rachel who just loved potato chips. I mean, shorty bag. She, she would bring in a whole bag. I'm talking a bag with bags of chips into that learning center. And when I it was the most distracting thing ever. I should not be doing math problems while you shoveling Doritos down your throat. Girl had 50 bags of 25 cent chips in her book bag and I asked for one and she said no. <laughs> And that said a lot. A lot of the times fries will have a burnt end like this. That is definitely something that I cannot eat. So I will take that and pinch it off and stick it underneath the napkin and then eat the rest of the fry. I'm not sure what it is about them that makes them so good, but <laughs> I like the way they make me feel. Why do you think that you're only reaching for those french fries? I feel that there is something beyond, oh, I don't want to eat that. I mean, that's definitely not it because yeah. I do want to eat it. And there are foods that I have sat down and have tried. What happens? I throw it up. Okay, so I'm hearing you do want to try to eat healthy. Yes, I've tried. But you can't. I can't. Wow, that's very interesting. I mean, you know, I'm a bigger guy. I like food a lot. We food know. tastes so good. I don't care what anybody say. It just do something to you. It, it make you shake a little bit. You know, I know y'all hear me. So it's nice to know that she's at least uh, attempted these things, you know? It's not like she's just blatantly trying to not step outside of her comfort zone. But my thing is that to really go through that extreme length when you try these foods to essentially vomit every time you try, I'm sure that sucks. But at the same time, I know I can't relate to that level necessarily because I'm not really a picky eater you know anything that you throw at me i'm gonna pick it up even if you don't see it it's gonna be gone when you come back it's gonna be gone i mean even just one new food can open up a whole lot of options for me even one good so before amber tackles a completely new taste dr dow starts with a familiar food that only looks a little different start with tastes and also textures that you already like and then we change one thing at a time. 
This is going to teach your brain that you can't eat this. I'm not gonna lie, she's looking a little nervous. Now, you know, with no context provided with this video, it looks kind of outrageous. To know that you have a plate of the exact same food that you like, and considering it's just a different color, like they look like pretty patties to me. But even if this is gonna become difficult for her to possibly consume, that's just wild to me. It, it personally is because it's the same exact french fry she likes. It just looks different. But it looking different alone can trigger her enough to where she's just not gonna touch it. And I just, I just don't think I could go through that. I am very nervous and even though french fries are a safe food, changing their color makes me feel uneasy. I would not like for you to taste one of the red french fries. Girl, you better eat that fry. I guess it's this one. I wanted it over with. I just wanted to be done with the rainbow fries. How are you feeling right now? I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Every time you try something new, you are going to be one step closer to having the life that you want. Oh, I know that's right, but I'm not gonna lie to you, them red french fries look like flaming hot to me. So I know she's struggling a little bit, but I'm demolishing the plate, guaranteed. Are you kidding me? You see how red those look? Imagine if they had some cheese on the... Ooh! Imagine if they had cheese on the side? Oh, I know that plate gonna slap. I don't know, I just can't stop thinking of pretty patties. It just, I feel real pretty looking at that plate. It looks so presentable. I just don't waste shit. I don't know, I'm just, a, I'm built different. I don't waste no food around here. You drop some shit, pick it up and eat it. There's a five second rule in this corner. Are you kidding me? Ooh, she better match that plate. I don't care. There was a real yuck face when you put that in your mouth. It wasn't pleasant. But it also wasn't extremely unpleasant right the fact that amber was able to take a bite to me is a success i just want amber to have a bite to have the experience and to say did i die no and if not then i'm okay i agree with him i feel like they're pretty much putting good steps in place to where they're not keeping her stagnant but they're doing something positive so even when it came down to just simply changing the color of the french fries alone and considering it, it, it was that much of a big deal to her she still lived she didn't pass out luckily i don't know something could happen so again i'm, I'm very much recognizing that this is difficult but like everybody gotta start somewhere oh they better be lucky i'm not on that show what ate the oh plate for real what are you feeling right now by looking at that blue fry it looks like a dead blue finger the average person may say eating a blue french fry is no big deal you know why is she crying over this but you have to understand that for amber emotionally it's like jumping out of an airplane <laughs> here i want to give you a huge amount of credit for what you just did. And you know, obviously with all jokes aside, without context, unfortunately is almost laughable that someone is legitimately crying over a French fry, but considering she is just so deeply used to the way she was already eating, you know, she could possibly be crying over a whole bunch of different things. She probably feels embarrassed as if she's weak because it's like, why am I crying over a French fry? You know, I wanna try these different foods, but I just, I can't do it. Fuck, I keep getting distracted, my fault. I'm just, I'm hungry. I feel the pain, I do, but crying over it is like that that is crazy though over a french fry it's just a matter it, it's all in her head that's just something that you know she has to has to really come to terms with and i'm glad to see she's making progress because shit if she don't eat the french fries i most definitely will but the fact that she was able to take this step says that she can indeed make changes to her diet and her life now dr dow and jj want to see if she can take an even bigger leap and try a new taste Amber is used to eating deep fried potatoes every single day. I thought the easiest step for her to make was to stay within the deep fried. JJ orders a variety of different vegetables, ranging from the familiar like potato to the unfamiliar such as carrots, asparagus, and mushroom. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, even to me, it looked like they stepping a little too far. She might have a whole panic attack in that restaurant. I don't know why they set it up that fast. Like to deep fry vegetables, I just feel like that doesn't coexist, like just in my mind. Personally, the way vegetables are set up, I love when they're stir fried. Like you can put them on like a, a skillet and just saute them up, like do something like that. But you talking about throwing a carrot and some grease? Oh, that's a little down low. At this point, y'all should have just took her out to get more french fries. She was already in that deep. JJ wanted me to try deep frying the potato. I was apprehensive on so many levels. What does it smell like? It smells like a potato in canola oil. Now, whether it smells like a french fry. But we have something in the ballpark of familiar, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. See, I don't think this is, I don't think this is food. I don't think it's anything, you know? Logically, gonna kill you? No, but I mean, Eating dirt won't kill me. It doesn't mean it's a good idea. 
She uses so much all or nothing thinking. She uses a lot of catastrophic thinking. Yeah, the way she explaining it is, it ain't no gun in your head. You're gonna be just fine, Amber. Go ahead, eat that little soggy potato because I know it ain't finished, but it's a start. Now, someone who's dealing with something like this, again, when you are just so consumed in something that is almost hereditary as being addicted to french fries. Like, my gosh, if you're eating it every single day in and day out, nothing more, nothing less. Oh yeah, she feels like she at the edge of a cliff right now. I know she, I know she feel it. I want Amber to understand that there is some gray area here. Not everything has to be pleasant to her, but it doesn't have to be all bad. But you could eat this and keep it in your mouth, right? Probably. Well, in that case, bon appetit. <laughs> That tasted like sod. Girl, you better swallow that french fry. My fault. All I know is, the way I'm looking at this right now is somebody my age, my big age, to be at a restaurant, say if I was there with my family, my parents, I'm thinking like younger years, say if I was to really be that upset over trying a different food or even a different texture, because again, she's still eating a potato. At a restaurant like that, I might've gotten hit. Either that or we gonna argue in the car, something gonna happen, because to have that big of a commotion over food in my household, I don't know. This was probably just a side comment. It just triggered something for me, like, if I was to really put on a show over a potato. Oh, something gonna happen when I get back to the house. Why are you looking at me that way? It did. Amber's a tough case because Amber is only gonna do what Amber wants to do. All of us on carrots? Sure. Ready for carrots? To keep moving forward, JJ suggests another mild tasting vegetable. My fault, I just gotta pause it again. She almost looked like she got a little attitude because I don't know if the production paid for the meal, but sit down and focus. This is for your benefit. Because at some point, whether y'all wanna pick sides or not, them potatoes gonna clog her arteries. Can't just survive off that for the rest of your life. And if you wanna argue, well, Jason, there's some people out there who have survived. My granny's been alive for 80 years. It's congratulations, granny. I'm not talking about granny. I'm talking about Amber. She's trying to get help right now. Let her, let her, let her do her process. Y'all be on the wrong neck sometimes on the... <laughs> JJ suggests another mild tasting vegetable, a carrot. And you're okay. So what did you teach yourself today, Amber? I didn't teach myself anything. You look really angry at us right I'm now. I'm angry because what did you, you know? What do you want me to do right here? You know, I keep, I keep getting pushed a little, pushed a little, pushed a little. I'm pushed to my limit for the day. I mean, but this is the whole point. I, I don't think she's realizing. Like, I'm not sure who she's mad at, but that's the entire point of you progressing. Because you're gonna step into territories where you're uncomfortable and you're being tested to do certain things that you've never done before. But on the other side of that can be progression that can really stick with you. You just gotta be willing to believe in yourself. And I don't think she believe in herself. She wanna go right back to that house and munch on them frozen french fries. I know she do. And I was really questioning that. I could just tell she was starting to get a little upset. But it's like, who are you upset at? Yourself? Cause she, she having a little difficulty with the fries. And the carrots, of course. Amber gets really flustered. That tells me that there's such a reaction in Amber with her emotion that a lot of these things aren't going to click for her until maybe tomorrow the day after. Our intention is not to get you mad. It is to help you to move forward. I want to get the hell out of here. I have seriously pushed my limit for today, guys. And I can't do it. I don't know. To me, again, at the end of the day, it's just a french fry. But I do understand and recognize that some people, it's, it's just not that cutthroat and simple. I get it. But all I know is, I wish somebody would waste some food in front of me. Oh, if you're not eating it, who gonna eat it? Me. Yeah, I'm eating your food. So you can get mad at that all you want. But I know that plate not gonna sit there and rot. Oh, you messed with the wrong one on that. Yeah, I just thought it was really interesting to, to witness some people who really have to go through stuff like this. I've just met so many people in my life who just had such a, a strong bond towards certain textures of food and taste and smell to where if I know someone who only eats chicken fingers and french fries and you scared to try some lasagna, be my guess. But all I know is at some point, the chicken fingers gonna catch up to you. That's it. But um, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Been trying to be a lot more active this month. So I really appreciate you guys for, again, watching these videos. I love you guys a lot for that and all the support you give me. Again, subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed. Discuss in the comments how you guys feel. Are, do you like french fries? But that's all you guys are going to get from me today. Appreciate you a lot. And until my next video, peace out.